Hey guys, Jeff here from Lexus of Smithtown. Today we're going to be going over how the app suite works and some troubleshooting issues that you should know about in case it isn't working for you. Alrighty, so of course your phone does have to be paired to the vehicle already and you have to have the app downloaded on your phone and registered and you just have to link your account. So there will be a video on how to do that as well later on. But what you really need to remember is you have to open the app on your phone and then open up the app on the car. And the reason I make sure to say that is everybody goes and opens the Pandora app because they want to use Pandora in the car. But that's not the correct app if you want to use the car for Pandora purposes at least. You need to make sure you're opening up the app suite, which is a gray icon. So it says Lexus Inform app suite. You need to open that up. Alrighty, and then it's going to say disconnect. Don't hit the button. All it's letting you know is that the car is connected to the vehicle right now or at least the phone is, and now you'll be able to use the Pandora in the vehicle. So if I go down by the remote touch and go to menu, there should be an option for app suite. Depending on what vehicle you have, you might have to go into info and apps and then click on apps. But for this car, it is the Lexus app suite. And as soon as I click on it, it's gonna give me all my icons, at least for options, destination search, iHeartRadio, movie tickets, open table, Pandora, save destinations, Yelp, and then there is Slacker Radio as well. The biggest one everybody really likes is Pandora. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Pandora. And it is gonna populate all of my channels that I like to listen to. You're always gonna get this little pop-up letting you know that it is gonna be using your data plan. Charges may occur. Just be careful. Alrighty, and I'm gonna click on OK. And it should load all of my stations in. It does take about a moment. My music already started playing. But here are all my little stations. So if I want some instrumental music, I'll click on it. It's going to load all my information. It's using your phone. Keep that in mind. It's using your data. Alrighty, but after a few seconds, it will start playing whatever music you want to listen to. Just to make sure you raise your volume up on your phone. So if you're in the 20s and you can't really hear it and you're wondering what's the problem here, raise the volume up on your phone. Alright, that's a big one. If you're driving and it just stops working randomly, you can't understand what's going on, something to keep in mind is to turn your Wi-Fi off while you're driving. And the reason I bring that up is because as you're driving, your phone connects to optimum Wi-Fi, Xfinity Wi-Fi, different Wi-Fis that you don't actually have access to, and it stops your connection while you're driving. And that's why you'll get that where it pauses and resumes every once in a while. Just turn your Wi-Fi off if that's something you're having an issue with. Alrighty guys, but the app suite is really cool. Little things you'll never know is you can even use voice recognition while you're in Pandora. Now this is going to be from about the 2015 and up vehicles, but if I hit the voice recognition button on the steering wheel, it's going to bring up the voice prompts for me and I can create stations Say that the way. the name of an artist or song to create a station. I'll cancel it, but you get the idea. You can say Adele and then you'll click on number one and then it creates an Adele station for you. Very cool, very intuitive. Nice to use, especially for road trips. Just keep in mind it is using your data plan. I hope this video does help you guys out. There's a bunch of other apps that you can use in there. You're more than welcome to help yourself out and kind of play with them. If you have any questions, leave some comments below and I'll answer them if I can.